There's Stuart Osborne from Aussie Bowl College, Cowra. Yeah, so we, we just do uh, pretty much grain and fertiliser, a little bit of quarry materials, but um, one of the big jobs we do for the years, uh, wheat into the wheat mix factory on the central coast. We've had truck and dogs all along, from three axles and then quad dogs, so then to go to the five axle just seemed to be a bit of a natural progression. We do a lot of tipping into August uh, with the fertiliser and, and with the grain obviously, and so from the point of view of tipping this combination into an auger, I can, uh, I can do it without splitting up, I can jackknife the, the dog out of the road. Yeah, we think they're, they're pretty good, pretty easy to load, good to drive, sit on the road pretty good. Well, the biggest advantage for me is, I'm not sure how the other states work, but New South Wales, you're just registering one truck, one trailer. There's a little bit of an advantage with tear weight, you know, as, as part of your ratio of your gross. So this weighs 20.5 full of fuel. Um, we're loading at the 59.5 at the moment. Yeah, like most blokes are getting around the 40 tonne on, on B doubles, this is getting 39. So it's sort of fully spec right through for the PBS scheme. So it's got ABS, EBS, you know, roll stability, all that stuff. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll grab you if you go around a corner. If it thinks you're going around a corner a bit too quick, it'll grab you and pull you up a little bit. See, I got the Sloan built gear for the trailers and they, in New South Wales, I reckon they're, they're at the forefront of it. And, um, and when I said, oh, we were talking to Kenworth, yeah, Sloan built, we're real, real happy with that. They, they, were, they were sort of, oh, that's good, because, you know, those blokes know what they're doing. They were, they were really happy with the Kenworth engineers. They said, we can trust what they say. We, you know, we know that if the Kenworth bloke says it's going to turn up these specs, that it will actually turn up like that. They're sort of telling me that, yeah, with some of the others, they were getting a few discrepancies. Yeah, look, I, I did the deal through Chris McDevitt. Through inland truck centres, yeah. Yeah, the, the trucks we've had before, you, um, if you wanted to make changes, you know, they were pulling stuff off a unit that was arriving on a boat, and so that whatever you changed, you, you sort of had to pay, even if you were taking something off the truck. And um, whereas this thing, we, you know, we just sat there for a laptop with a laptop for a couple of hours, Chris and I, and and um, and yeah, built it from scratch. And there's honestly not, there's nothing I'd change on it. It is, um, it's working sort of as well as I'd hoped. It's, um, yeah, it's really, really delivery. If you go to a truck wash or if you, I've got a mate who's a detailer in town here and, it, and everyone will comment on the paint, the quality of the paint they use. You know, effectively for what I do, I, I, could, I could do the same job with a smaller truck, I could do it with a different brand, but um, yeah, part of the thinking was just that at any point, um, I know I can get out of this truck, you know, with a, Ken, with a Kenworth brand on it and with the Sloan built trailers whether it's six months into the term or whether in 20 years time there'll still be a buyer for it and um, I mean yeah you just look in your deals on wheels at, at old Kenworths and what they bring and compared to anything else with the K's or the hours on it.